Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. Gonna give you a very thorough overview of the article here. There's a link in the description. It's very grim. It's in regards to this scumbag in front of us. His name is Steven Gerardo from New York. His age, 36 years of age. He's a bus driver for New York's Metropolitan Transportation Authority, MTA. That part probably isn't relevant. This guy has admitted to having attempted to murder his own wife. Her name Sophia Geraldo, 41 years of age. She is currently in a very critical condition. She's in the hospital in a vegetative state. So, of course, full prayers to Sophia Geraldo, this scumbag's wife, 41 years of age. What did this scumbag do? Well, he was in his car, a Ford Explorer SUV, he had his three children in the back seats, the three children's age, six, nine, and 11. This happened early morning, December the 27th, around 5.20 a.m. His wife was in front of the vehicle. I'm not quite sure how far in front, but in front, this scumbag said to his kids, make sure your seatbelts are on. Then he pressed the accelerator he barreled into his wife, drove right into her at speed. The car flipped over. He got out of the window of the car, began stabbing his wife multiple times. Again, his three children in the car, which is now flipped over. He's just ran into, run over. His 41-year-old wife, Sophia Geraldo, and now he jumps out of the car, starts stabbing her. Again, she's currently in a critical condition, in a vegetative state. Uh, as I mentioned, this happened December the 27th, so that's Tuesday. He called the police and uh, he let them know that he had just severely attacked his wife. The police came arrested him he's been held in custody let me just double check but i think he has been held uh without bond i'll double check that in a second and he has been charged with a multitude of different charges but they include second degree attempted murder first and second degree assault second degree reckless endangerment endangering the welfare of a child and fourth degree criminal possession of a weapon The victim, his wife, has a lititude of... Lititude? Is that the right word? I might be using the wrong word. A litany of injuries, which include severe neurological damage, broken bones in her leg, a stab wound that punctured her liver. Uh, again, we're told that she's in a vegetative state, considered to be in critical condition. It's quite possible that she may not survive her numerous injuries. Of course, we hope, we pray that she does. This scumbag, again, his name is Stephen Gerardo from New York, is facing a maximum penalty of 25 years in prison, and I believe that it, that would be based on his current charges. If Sophia, his wife, does pass, which of course we hope, we pray, will not happen, but if that does, I can only presume... That the charges will be upgrade, upgraded from attempted murder to murder. I don't know if that would remain to be second degree murder. Uh, but I would imagine that would uh, mean an upgrade in charges. And uh, with that I would expect an upgrade in the maximum penalty. We're told that there is footage of the incident. Um... There's a video here. I've looked at the video. I can't really make anything out of the video. Uh, so I'm not sure if the surveillance footage is only what's in this little video here. Uh, again, there is a link in the description if you wanted to look at that. Um, oh, sorry, I didn't show it to you. So I, I can play this very quickly, but uh, I don't think there's much to see, to be honest with you. Um, Perhaps there's clearer footage. There it is in the background. I didn't see that at first. So we see the car pulling away. A Ford Explorer SUV pulling away at speed with his three children um, 
in the in the car at the time. Okay, so we've got a little bit more information to tell you in regards to the victim. Um, so the victim, as we say, her name is Sophia Giraldo, and she is a podcaster. She has a podcast. Let me just uh, get those details in front of me. Where is it? Um, yeah, she has a podcast. It's called the Unfiltered and Free Podcast. And it's described as consisting of real conversations about living life after betrayal and abuse. In the first episode of the podcast, the victim, Sophia, describes finding herself in the middle of a marriage filled with betrayal and abuse. So there's been domestic violence incidences within the marriage. Um... Sophia, the victim, and her children moved into a domestic violence shelter for a period of time in 2019. And uh, she has been living alone, separated from the husband, if I understand correctly, for about a year and a half. So, seemingly this was a separated husband and wife, not divorced, if I understand correctly. And by the look of it, Sophia has been hosting a podcast in which she's been discussing what she feels to be is uh, a marriage filled with betrayal and abuse. I mean, really, it's hard to argue with her, seeing as this scumbag, the husband, ran her over and then stabbed her multiple times. So I can only hope that the victim, Sophia Geraldo, does make a full recovery. Prayers to the extended family, prayers for the children. Let's hope that they get over this very traumatic incident. They were in the car. Their father runs into the mother, then stabs her multiple times. There they are in the car. The car flips over. I mean, that's got to be maximum trauma, I would imagine. So we can only hope and pray for the family, the children. And also that this guy gets what he deserves. To be honest, I'm a little bit unhappy with the maximum jail sentence of 25 years. I don't think that's enough. I think that ought to be the minimum jail sentence, not the maximum. So I do hope that um, he is sentenced to a lot higher than that. I can only presume that he will be sentenced. He will be found guilty. He has admitted to having done this. He called the police. He stayed at the location until the authorities arrived and took him into custody. So I can only presume that he will be found guilty um, should he be taken to trial. And uh, with that sentence, which to which I would hope would be as long as possible. I'm going to wrap things up at this point, guys. Take care.